I've become a fly fishing addict in the past couple of years, so um, this is a great opportunity to learn more about the sport and um, meet people who also enjoy the fly fishing. We have uh, a phenomenal group of adults that have volunteered uh, their time to come and spend with you guys uh, this week at Chop Camp. Everybody's gonna get a chest uh, We got a bag with a bunch of flies, a fly case, some leaders, a leader wallet, um, tippet line, and uh, some of that, some weights and some strike indicators. The huge difference between fly fishing and fly casting and all other forms of, of fishing is the fact that you're casting the line because the fly is weightless. They teach you a lot about um, about the actual uh, arm movement part. You're not supposed to flick your wrist as much. Uh, it's not as much wrist movement as it is forearm movement. So that really gets the power into it, as well as stopping at the correct height, at the correct um, way forward and way back, so. This one you can't really see any gills on. Some of them you will. The relative length of the tail might tell you something about this particular bug, but the thing about stoneflies is pretty much a stonefly is a stonefly is a stonefly. He talked about uh, aquatic entomology and all the different bugs that live in the stream and where they live and how they live and their behavior and how to tell the different ones and how to match them with different flies. We took, we picked up rocks in a stream near a current and we'd wipe off of the rocks and watch all the little bugs go right into our net. I don't know what the net's called. And you'd pick it up and you'd spot the little bugs and it was pretty cool. Fly fishing is basically divided into surface fishing and subsurface fishing. With dry flies, just keep it on the top of the water and kind of point your rod tip with it and just kind of go along with it and with the uh, the streamers kind of strip in a little bit of line every now and then just to kind of make it move and make it look like it's actually alive and going across the water and underwater. There's the eye of a hook, which is how you attach it to your line. There's the shank of the hook. There's the bend, or sometimes they call it the shape of the hook. And then there's the point of the hook, and there's a barb and a point of the barb. Fly tying is probably my second favorite thing other than fly fishing and because it's pretty cool to just wrap it around and see how you can create something that just looks in the water like it's a perfect bug just like in nature and the fish definitely love those too. The wood in the stream down through there, those are wood additions that we did a couple years ago. We're trying to increase the roughness, get it to hold back some uh, sediments and try to um, provide a little cover now. I didn't really know earlier that people like did conservation like that in areas. Like I, I mean I didn't know their whole like um, jobs around that. So he kind of started out by telling us about like what he did in his job and that was interesting. And um, I thought it was cool how like he was saying how they kind of brought back streams and made them um, a lot healthier. I think that was probably my favorite part of camp. He showed us how to electrofish. When the fish get near the rod, their muscles sort of tense up, and that makes it easier for you to catch the fish in the nets. Then we looked at them and identified them. Uh, we saw some brook trout, some brown trout, some, some interesting fish. And then when he dissected the fish, that was just really cool seeing all how they, like, what was inside them and how there was a giant worm in them. Oh, I had a great time. Learned a lot, got some fish. I thought it was really good. I caught, I caught a lot of fish. I caught some steelhead, that was really fun. And I learned a lot of different fishing techniques. It was really helpful. Shark Camp Rock!